side of that bike, all the way down into Rainey, through turn 10 now. And as they break for turn 11, he's already got a solid <laughs> You don't have a helmet yet, buddy. Ooh, welcome to Moto America. Well, Laguna Seca, we're gonna watch Moto America, which is obviously gonna be really cool. It's Thursday and it was pretty cool. I got to talk to Attack Performance and they hadn't shipped out my rear sets yet. So they canceled my shipping and put it on the Attack Yamaha truck, which is really freaking cool. So we'll get to meet with them, get my rear sets while we're here. And of course, today is just Thursday, so nothing's really going on. Tomorrow is the beginning of all the events. So it should be really cool, guys. I'm hoping to ride a bunch of different motorcycles while we're here. Today, we get to ride the Tracer 9 GT. <laughs> How does that sound? That is freaking fantastic. We finally get to ride the Indian Scout, which should be really cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know how you would ride this really hard, really fast guys. I'm gonna fly off the back of it. <laughs> this time we are riding the Scout Rogue. Oh yeah, see I can give her beans and not go flying off the back. That feels freaking much better. I forgot my gloves and I am in dire need of new ones anyway. So if you've seen my previous gloves that I always wear, they are just destroyed. So we will buy in some brand new Alpine Stars while we're here because there's always seriously good deals while we're here. We're gonna have to go see if we can find the corkscrews for you guys. Now, the last time I was out here, I think it was 2019, right before COVID. And it was still, it was a rad event, but we did not pay for a specific spot for the RV. So it was an absolute nightmare trying to park somewhere. It was still obviously an amazing event, but quite interesting. But man, is this track freaking awesome. But for living so close to it, I'm, I can't believe I haven't done it yet. I've got to do it one of these days. God, it feels weird. I feel naked not having gloves on. <laughs> Out of all the things to not wear while you're riding, gloves. Oh man, this part's crazy right here. That little double apex. It is so neat when you're down there just looking over the little bridge that as you walk over to get to all the vendors and stuff. They just come freaking ripping through there. But man, are we in for a cool ass freaking three days. Yeah, this is where I was at last time. Freaking nightmare. Trying to back up and get the RV in here. It was way too freaking big. <laughs> yeah, I was all sideways taking up like four spots left back in 2019 But we would just walk this way And you would have a full view of the corkscrew up here. It was freaking rad We just brought the chairs up here and watched the races from here And it's still dry camping, but who cares? Got a generator, but this would be the spot right here. That is freaking cool. Found Team Merca locked in on the fresh and lean attack track. Now how the hell do I get in there? <laughs> Will they even let me? <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> look at how steep this damn hill is. See, look at that view. Got uh, my son on the R3. We're just heading down a little parking lot, and the wife is on the little Grom, and I'm on the R7. Such a fun adventure, such a fun thing to go to, you guys. If you haven't been to races, it's totally worth it. So many bikes everywhere.
Thank you.